Maybe Monday they'll have the wrecking crew over here and they'll just level it. Every night I'd go by that house going up, what is that, Balk Street right there? I could always hear them outside. Usually they'd be banging on stuff outside. I'm like, it's like two o'clock in the morning. What the hell are you banging on? Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Nope, right up on Black River Boulevard. <laughs> About 300 feet from the post office. But the house that's next to me when they were living in it, that's what it was. It was a drug house. And for weeks, I'd keep saying to the police saying that. 450 attack, I'd rather Yeah, exactly. And there's only a couple places around by the seven. Cheapest place I go is Kikis. Uh, nine for their cheapest. If I really get desperate, I just roll my own. <laughs> huh. Looks like a firefighter convention. Yeah, the roof is gone on that house. Still smoking. See the smoke? A little bit of it. Yep, it'll rain. One crew that has been here goes home, I think, and they relieve crew A. Really bring it. Well, you can see the roof is. Yeah. So hopefully those idiots won't be back in there. Either they went in and turned the gas on, or it was propane tank. I'm going to go with meth lab. <laughs> But the whole house was boarded up. So I think they got in there. And it was probably more than one. Turned on the gas. And left. 
because when these these uh, vagrants were living in that house, uh, they had electricity. I mean, it's not like the owner didn't know they were in there. <laughs> But hopefully the city will now knock the house down. And that's the best thing to do with these houses. Just knock them down. And there goes the two. The crew that was here goes back to the station and a fresh crew replaces them. Just saturate it with water. Good thing though on Saturday, which is today, it's supposed to rain a lot. That always helps. Got the chief. And this is the house right next to the Budget Inn Motel which hasn't been any problems yet, but being that the state of New York gives these homeless people vouchers, courtesy of taxpayers, uh, there's bound to be issues. I think with all these homeless people, we should, why doesn't the state require them to, I don't know, pick up garbage along the throughway or along the highway or along city roads. But now, 